All right, guys, so here's the story. Still in the back of a police car. Um, I came home. I did a podcast with my buddy Frankie Edgar tonight. Came home, I don't even know, it was maybe like 11.30, something like that. Went to bed, was woken up at 2 o'clock in the morning by the police. Now, the police were at our house earlier tonight for the first time in seven years because I called them because my wife was hysterically shouting at me, yelling at me that she was calling the police. So I said, all right, she's going to make up some fake story. Let me call them. So I called them, documented it, that I was concerned she'd make up a fake story. And then I left and went and did a podcast. When I returned home and fell asleep, the police showed up and exactly what I thought was going to happen happened. So now I have a restraining order. She, I'm not allowed to go home and see my children. Um, yeah, so it's going to get more interesting. And I'm going to keep you updated on all this. Say hello, officer. What's up, guys? <laughs> Sorry about this, man. Uh, I thought the wrong thing to do was to put your business out there. I truly thought that was the wrong thing to do. I thought that our children would see it someday, and it was wrong in, in every ethical way to do that. Now, I believe that it's on my side. I believe that putting the truth out there weighs in my favor. Um, and I can, I, and what I say, I can substantiate with some proof. So um, I, that's what I'm gonna do. That's my new MO, that's my new route. I'm, I'm not allowed to go see my children. My children who I spend every day with. My son, who is two and a half, over two and a half, 11 nights since he's been bored, 11 nights, seven of them were in South Korea with Jenny. I have not spent in bed with him, 11 nights. She took that from me. She took that from me tonight. All right guys, so I, um struggled internally with this for a long time whether to put stuff out there publicly because there's a possibility my children could see it someday and that tears me apart so I struggled with it until tonight um, when when I'm the one that called the police because my wife was shouting swearing screaming at me I'm calling the police I'm calling the police and I was like for what what did I do you know well, she's screaming in my daughter's face, your father's a piece of shit, he's out of here, he's out of here, I'm sorry I ever had children with him, to my four and a half year old daughter, who's spanking me in the butt saying, you're a bad daddy. I called the police to preemptively get ahead of what I thought she was going to do. I got woken up at two o'clock in the morning by the police. She filed a restraining order. I'm not allowed to see my children. I'm not allowed to even text Jenny about my children. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say. Uh, I cannot see my children. If anybody on this face of this planet ever says that I was not there for my kids every day of their life, they're a liar. Every day. I, I don't go away for months at a time, for weeks at a time. I'm always there for my children, always. And I'm not allowed to be there for my children anymore because because somebody, somebody else is so hate-filled that they would do that to the father of their children, to a great father to their children. It's sad, man, it's just sad. Sitting at a friend's house, no game plan. Took uh, tomorrow off work, thank God. Um, I don't have a change of clothes. Police said if I want to go home, I mean, I'm not arrested, I'm not in jail, so there's no crime committed. It's just somehow Jenny convinced a judge that a restraining order should be filed. I have no idea how, no clue. They couldn't even explain it to me. I'm the one that called the police first because I was afraid that that might happen. Um, I was, I was actually afraid that she would like go hit herself in the face in the bathroom or something, which is, trust me, not out of the fucking realm of possibility for Jenny. So I called the police, made a police report just to say, and they said, you're good to go. When I come home, I fall asleep in bed, didn't even speak to her, and I get woken up at 2.30 in the morning and escorted out of my house, not allowed back. Ladies and gentlemen, truth is stranger than fiction. It's insane. All right, this might be my last post for the night, and I'm, I'm really trying not to post out of anger. I'm trying to post out of honesty. I mean, there's definitely hurt, for sure, no question, but um, how does somebody um, combat, 
for lack of a better word. Um, somebody that has insane popularity and is beloved and is on the number one rated show of all time. The truth. That's how you combat them. The truth. Um, and I'm going to bring you the truth from here on out. And I'm going to bring you a lot of the truth. Stuff you had no idea <laughs> that existed or went on. That's what I'm going to bring you. Because I'm not good at a lot of things. I'm horrible at reality TV. It was never my thing. But what I'm good at is speaking the truth and being honest. And you're going to see a lot of that. Because the truth is my friend. So, <sighs> I know I keep posting videos and I'm sorry. But it's like, once the truth starts spewing forth... For eight years, it's hard to stop it, and now that she's made my children pawns in this, literally made them pawns, something I would never do to her, ever. Um, I have no choice but to just be honest and open. I got, I got nothing to lose. I got nothing to hide. Um, you're going to see about our divorce on Jersey Shore. You know why? Because my wife told me, my ex-wife told me when we were in counseling, that she's negotiating a side deal. I think she said she wanted 70 grand to talk about our, uh, I th I'm pretty sure that was the number, but to talk about our divorce on the upcoming season. Everything is about money with her. All I want is time with my children. That's all I want. So I'm trying to stay composed here. Um, nobody wants to see a video of a sobbing fucking old man. Um, the hardest part about this, and I'm not the first man, and probably not the first woman to be in this position. I'm sure it goes both ways. Um, unfortunately, I don't know why I'm on this end of it, but is that my ex cannot control her emotions in front of our children and, and literally turns my child against me. My daughter, the look in her eyes. Because her mother can't wait till they go to sleep to have a disagreement. She has to do it in front of them. To look in my daughter's eyes and the misunderstanding she had towards her dad. And hitting me in the butt because I upset her mother. Because her mother can't control them. 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, I haven't slept a wink. I'm, I'm up because every day for the last two and a half years, this is when I get up with my son. 6.30, 7 o'clock, right in that range. He's up, crawling all over his daddy. And I'm not with him this morning. I'm with him because... Because his mother is so hate-filled towards his father that she would do something like this. Instead, I'm sleeping on a couch with the clothes that are on my back. Not allowed to speak to my children. Not allowed to go get clothes. Not allowed to step foot in the house that I've lived in for eight years. I miss my kids, man. She's just wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> Update. Truth Diaries. I think I'm going to stick with this. Um, and not to sling mud, you know. What, what does that do for me? What does that do for me to... I mean, obviously, if stones are cast, um, you know, I'm, I'm prepared. Well, what, is, what does that do for someone to do something like that that you will probably regret later? And um, But what is upsetting to me is a statement was just released that, in my opinion, implies that I put somebody, whether it be my children or, or another person, in harm's way of some sort. And that is just so mind-blowing to me to even make that suggestion. I am not the violent one, I assure you. Um, and I don't want to have to prove that. I do not want that to go down that road. Um, but, you know, I'm prepared because I have to be because I'm just dumbfounded. I can't believe a person would do this to me and not let me see my kids.